everyone. So today on our amazing, amazing live, I'm going to be joined by the amazing Antonia, Antonia Harmon. And she is going to, oh gosh, I need to fix this light because I don't want to be looking like this. <laughs> And she's going to help someone today live um, through any grief or breakup. And I can't wait to have a talk with her because this kind of thing is a very much close to my heart. And I believe in that anything is possible and anything can be healed. So I'm going to pop her on now and um, let this convince because I'm excited about this. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, let's see. There we go. Hi. Hi. You look beautiful. Look at Thank you. Girls. My camera's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I did some curls for you this morning, honey bunny. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. How how are you feeling today? Fabulous. How are you? I'm good. I'm really good. I decided you went with your curls. I went with my red lipstick. <laughs> Looking gorgeous, honey. Look like a movie star. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> so um, I'm going to sort of let you introduce yourself and just tell everyone um, what you do and just enlighten us with um, all the good stuff. Um, awesome. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Antonia Harmon from Divine Empowerment, and I dissolve, um, dissolve emotional trauma. So, you know, when you hang around someone who's sad or angry or upset, you spend two seconds with them, and you can literally feel that they're radiating that upset. You can feel you oh. walk into the room and you can feel it. Someone has a fight, you walk into the room, and there's, there's a like the smell to the air. Oh, it's almost like a fart. It's almost like that. You can literally yeah. just smell it when you walk in. Yeah. Well, it's a funny way of saying it, but it, you can literally just smell the anger or smell the grief or whatever as soon as you walk into the room. That means that emotion is energy. Even look at the word emotion, break that down, energy in motion. So what I can do is I can dissolve that fart for you. <laughs> it's, so, it's as simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all I need you guys to do really is to, um, we're going to be working on, on one or a couple of people during this session, and it needs to be people who can connect to a situation. So maybe you have some grief, maybe you've had a breakup a while ago, and when you think about it, you feel upset. You need to be able to connect to it. So when you think about it, you need to fe allow those emotions to bubble up, open Pandora's box as it will. So that grief, that anger, that betrayal, the rejection, whatever it might be for you, you need to be able to feel it when you lament on it, basically. So uh, well, if you can do that, then I can probably clear it because it's just an energy stagnated, hanging around in your system. And that's what I do. And I also teach, this is all stuff I, I teach in my level Amazing. one class as well. So I hope to see you on the class, Mrs. <laughs> yes, no, for sure. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. So we recently actually um, published an amazing article that you've written um, on the website. And uh, to be to be honest, that's received some really, really nice feedback. And um, <laughs> it's something that I guess, uh, you know, I, I love to practice and, you know, I completely 100% agree with what you've written there. And that's why I guess I wanted to share it so much with um, my readers because, you know, what better way than believe in something and also share it with everyone else. So thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, I think, I mean, my number one tip there was really to just watch your news consumption. I think that yeah. that's very, very important okay. because. Yeah. One thing that we're not told as much as we probably should be, or it's just not in our brains as much as it should mm. be, is that uh, fear stuffs up your immune system. Your immune system, if you are in deep fear by watching something like news cycles or deep stress or whatever it is, your immune system shuts down. And that's yeah. very, very, very important to realize because what it is, is, and what I talk about in the article, one of the main things is, imagine you are under threat. So there's a tiger behind you and it's chasing after you and you're like, oh my God, I gotta go away, I gotta go away from this tiger. And so what percentage of your life force, of your energy, would you want to be able to, to, uh, to, get, to get away from the tiger versus digesting your sandwich, doing things like renewing cells, getting rid of things? You'd want 100% yeah. devoted, 
stuff that sandwich you've had for lunch, you need to make sure that you can get the heck away from that tiger. It's like fight or energy. flight, right? Fight and flight, yeah. And yes. it literally sends the blood, the energy, the life force to your arms and your legs, away from your brain, so you become more stupid and just into survival mode and away from your trunk where all your major yeah. organs are, into your arms and legs, and so you can run like hell. And if you get away and you calm down, then you should then your then then the blood goes away and you start to be able to uh, goes back into your trunk. You start to be able to have your immune system working, everything else working in your body. Unfortunately, if we're watching news twenty four hours a day, the tiger never comes and the tiger never goes, and so we're yeah. just stuck in this fear. And that means our immune system, our digestive system, everything doesn't work to its optimal. I mean, it'll keep us going. You know, our cardiovascular system's obviously working. We need blood pump, pumping around our bodies, but the maintenance isn't yeah. on it's just no. not on no, so no. just be aware i mean obviously this is a crazy time and there's a lot of stress and everyone's worried about mm -hmm. finances and there's so many things to stress about but if you can take the time to do things like meditation calm yourself down do things you enjoy maybe there are there are skills that you always wanted to do maybe you always wanted to do some sewing or i don't know what the heck you're you're Anything. you wanting to do come on one of my classes come and learn magic yeah. <laughs> I'm teaching next weekend, actually. Well, weekend after next, the ninth and the tenth via Amazing. Zoom, so you can learn all these magical things. Well, I'll make sure to um, before after our live, I'll make sure to link everything up so um, awesome. that everyone can see it and everyone can tune in and and maybe book one of your classes. Yeah, awesome. but um, I was wondering, you know, a lot of people might they might not be so familiar to this, so they, they might be very new to it interested in it but don't know where to start so what's sort of like your main your main tip to maybe just connect yourself to it and maybe i also trust you as well to be able to look within them and, and help them with any any grief or you know breakups or trauma that they're currently going through uh, I see, I work in a quite a different way. So I've awoken some of my abilities because I believe us all to be gods and goddesses to just forgot how awesome we really are. So I've yeah. spent the last 13 years in a trance state, which I know sounds crazy. I know that, but I've just been literally do lally, just like, just not for you. <laughs> Love that. Just like I've got a really bad hangover or something and I'm just somewhere the heck else. And I, that's what has been going on for 13 years. And I've awoken some of my abilities, latent abilities we all have, because I believe you, my friends, to all be gods and goddesses, just forgot how awesome we are. And so that's what's different about my work as well to many of the other modalities of healing that you would have heard of, like, for example, Reiki or even Western medicine or um, shamanism or any other type of healing that you would have heard of. They're using a middleman, an intermediary to help you do it. So you're using a potion, you're using a spell, you're using a pill, you're using something in between you and the result. My work's different. Mine is awakening work. So I mm -hmm. awaken your abilities uh, to be able to do this just as easy as breathing. You know, it's as easy to me as chewing gum, which is just ridiculous because it's so profound, but I'm just so used to it. And it's who we really are. So mm. I've woken my abilities to be able to do these things. And that's what I teach in my classes. That's <laughs> beautiful. And that's amazing. And I think, uh, you know, as a, as a person going through that, how, how when did you, this is what I kind of want to know from, from my end as well, because obviously I have my own experience with uh, this kind of thing in, in spirituality and just different different stages of my life that I've sort of discovered these things and I've kind of tried to push them aside or sometimes I said okay do you know what I think it's time to now focus and try to see if I can what this really means because I think it's scary when it happens to you for the first time and you really don't know how to connect with yourself so for you when was it when was it that clicking moment to know okay, this is what's happening to me and I have to take advantage of it or, you okay. know. Yeah, I've got you know? a story. I, I mean, yeah, the, my origin story. Yes. Going, I'm going to super ha superhero land. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> okay, basically, I, um, I, I went on a, on a healing course and I thought, what is this weird stuff? Like, it was just bonkers to me. And what happened was a friend of mine had burst her eardrum, I think around five times and she was a stewardess of Virgin Atlantic and she was flying all the time and she was in such excruciating pain that she you know two about two, twice a week and she was just in agony and this girl's a really strong girl she's from Carlisle and if anyone's British you'll know that they are strong she's a really strong in nature person and um and she just was you know crippled in agony so she went to the doctor the specialist and the surgeon 
and they said there's it's going to be two and a half, sorry, four and a half thousand pounds, and there's a fifty percent chance it's going to work. So four and a half grand is a heck of a lot of money to to many people. You know, she's in her twenties as well. It's obviously you know, it's just a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so she's getting the money together because what's she going to do? So anyway, so uh, and they said only fifty percent chance because we don't really know what's going on with you, but we're going to do our best with the with the awareness and and the skills that we have. We're going to do our best for you, which is all anyone can do. Right. So anyway, I'm walking down the street with her, and it's happening regularly. She's unable to fly a lot of the time, which uh, stewardesses earn a lot of money from when they when they're actually fly. They got given. Um, with Virgin Atlantic, get, get, get money in, in local currency. So they have a basic and then, so a lot of her wages actually you get from, from doing the job. Uh, so she wasn't able to earn as much money as she was earning, which was obviously harder for the surgeon or the rest of it. So, but she was just having to bite the bullet and do it. And she was, you know, she got stranded in New York and wasn't able to fly on the way back sometimes. And if your ear goes when you're flying, they have to land a plane. It's a very, very serious situation. Anyway, I'm walking down the street with her and she just falls on her knees and goes, ah, my ear, my ear, help me, help me, fix my ear, fix my ear. And I went, what? Yeah. She goes, you're a healer now. And I don't, I've done a five day workshop. I'm not even sure if I believe this stuff. It's, a, it's bonkers. Yeah. Just, you're, she's weeping and she's screaming and she's swearing and she's just like, just help me, just try, just try. And I went, what? What, what, what the heck am I going to do? She's like, you're a healer now. Don't know that I am. I take her into the lips of a bar and I put my hands in her ears and I started channeling and I was like, there's something in your ear, Lucy. And she went, what is it? I went, whoa. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I'm channeling and I'm pulling this thing out and there's something coming out of her ear and I'm just like feeding it and, and channeling and I was like, there's something in your ear, Lucy. What is it? So anyway, I'm pulling it out and it's coming out and it's long and long and long and long. And it looks like it's pulling out. It's like a foot and a half long. I'm seeing it. Pull it out on the ground, it looks like a snake. It's wriggling around just in heat waves. I can only see it in heat waves, it looks like a snake. Pull it out of her ear, wriggling around, throw some energy, get rid of it. Do the other side, do the other side. That was about six, six inches long or so. That was in 2007 and my girl hasn't had earaches since she canceled the surgery. And that blew my frigging mind. <laughs> and I just uh. went, hang on a minute. I was doing TV presenting and modeling. I yeah. was actually progressing up the ranks, although I was doing shopping channel stuff. I was progressing up the ranks. And, um, and I just went, you know what? I can't imagine anything more interesting, more, more soul uh, nourishing. And medicine is missing a trick. Like medicine's amazing. They've got some amazing things, especially like if you, if you have a car crash or something like that, I want to go to the casualty room that they're amazing for those sorts of things, especially. But you know, there are some things that they're unable to do because they didn't even know they could do as a lot of money. And it was done within a minute yeah. and it changed her life. And I just went, wow, that was my epiphany. That was my change. And I just went, oh, you know yeah. what? That's what I'm doing now. And I changed my life on a dime in a second. That was it. I, that was, I'm a healer now. Okay. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that. And it's so interesting. And I feel like, did you, did it take some time for you to sort of get to grips with what you were able to do and sort of still doing it? Yeah. <laughs> I get around. Every day. Every day. Uh, you know? But it's, it's learning every day. I'm always pushing the boat out. I'm always seeing what I'm able to do next because I want to have consistency. It's very important to have consistency with this work so that it does work. So I'm, I'm good at emotional stuff. And, and as long as people can connect to emotional stuff, then I should be able to dissolve it. As, but it is, it is important that they open Pandora's box. If they can't feel it, then then uh, I, there's nothing I can really do because yeah. they're just they're, they're divorced from their emotions. But if they can feel it and get into it, then I can just feel that opening and that literally that energy around them, and then I I should be able to clear it. That's amazing. Well, um, <laughs> I see, I did see a, a sort of a statement just pop up. Um, it's about someone losing their dad, and they feel very confused. Um, with the grief that it takes. So maybe if you want to try that right now. Yeah, sure. What's her name? What's it? Let me see. So um, okay. uh, Mandela. 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 Uh, no, Ma 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 Madla. Madla. Madla Lu, 18. Madla Lu, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Madela Lou. Are you still with us, first of all? And if you are, I'm going to need you to connect to your emotions. So I'll need you just, first of all, I just know that you're with us and that we can do this yes, work. Yes, let's you. try to do that first. <laughs> Sorry, yes. And then, if you are there, what I'm going to need you to do is close your eyes and connect to it. So, yes. Amanda. Yes. There's she oh, good. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just not reading very well today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too busy talking. Okay. So, Amanda. 
So um, are you able to please connect to your emotions? So to drop into it. So really, really feel it. Really feel that grief. Really, really feel that pain and upset. Yeah, close your eyes and feel it. I can feel you feeling it because I'm conscious of that. Now I'm just going to clear it for you and then it will feel empty. There will be nothing there. We'll talk about that in just a sec. But, so let me clear this for you. So stay there, connect to it. Let me help you. Okay, I think that's gone. So you have to tell me. So basically, you won't feel anything. Obviously, before you were confused and there was grief. And now when you think of it, there should just be emptiness. People mistake numbness for emptiness because they're not used to peace. Peace is nothing. There is nothing happening. There are no bells and whistles. There are no fireworks. The pain is the fireworks. This is empty. Even happiness, even bliss is an action. There's something happening. This is nothing which is actually peace. So, Manda, can you please confirm with us that you just feel just neutral? It's just not loaded with emotions and that's what it should be. So, We'll, get, we'll wait for a second. To Give just, her a few minutes, yes. Yeah, because you just have to check in with yourself because it's very confusing because you're like, well, where the hell is it? Like, yeah. you're looking for it within your psyche and you can't find it. And it's sort of, it's, it's really confusing for your brain. It's just like, what, where, huh? <laughs> no, I love that. And it's true. And I think you have, you're very right about peace. And I think people, and even myself, you, you get sort of the wrong idea of what peace should be. And you're completely right. It, it, it is nothing. It's, 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 it doesn't feel like numbness. It just doesn't feel anything because there's nothing to be stressed about. There's nothing to be, you know, it's empty. I, I, like that fight about. So yeah, I think it's, I think that's a, that's a, that's an amazing, amazing tip there um, for people to know. Yeah. And that's what it is. There's no chatter. There's just quietness around it. So what does she say? Yeah. I feel like something has been lifted. I got goosebumps. That's so uh, Amanda, can you just connect? Can you feel like if you think about your, I think it was your father's passing. Can you just see if it just feels empty? There should just be nothing there. You think about it and you just, you just, if you just feel calm about it, like maybe it happened a very long time ago, or it's just doesn't, it just doesn't, it just doesn't grab you and make you feel very upset about it. They should just feel neutral. So just let us, know that that is actually true because i think that's just one step beyond what you've said we'll just double check that <laughs> but yeah so this is this is what i teach in level one you're able to dissolve grief in these different situations within level one because all i do is awaken these latent abilities within you and then you're just able to do it it takes you a few seconds longer than it takes me but it's 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 breathtaking mind-blowing and incredible and it's only 250 pounds teaching on the ninth and the tenth exactly. of the day. Yeah, and you can't go, you can't go wrong with that i feel like you know it's it's it works and if if it works for 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 them and it's amazing and i've never experienced something like that before and you know i feel like it takes a lot out of me to to try to do that but if you have guidance then it just you know can easily it just go. goes. It's just super easy. I mean, there are so many things that I teach. Like one of the one really fun energy because I like to be playful as well. We teach how to change the taste of wine using energy, which is just so fun to get your senses involved. Yeah. I yeah. love to get different senses involved, and so you can sort of turn something like a Pinot Noir, which is quite an empty wine, like it just it doesn't taste it very much, into something very deep and flavorsome. So what does she say? Yeah, I feel calm. I would say. The, the feeling uh, feeling where as I felt consumed with the grief, just constantly images of my dad going through and round and round causes me tears and panic. I feel calm. I that's was lovely. Yeah. Uh, that's where, so before she was feeling panicked and images of her dad and very upset about it. And now she just feels calm. Yeah, peaceful. That's it. It's that's gone. It. That, that emotion, that fog, that fart of emotion. And uh, oh, no, we... your father's passing, but that's just empty. That's that, that cloud of energy is just that's wonderful. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I think that's, it's amazing that you can do that just through this and, you know, 
Yeah. Deborah, great. Yeah, Deborah, we only, we, yes, it's the last thing we do in class. It's just, a, it's just an extra fun energy. Another really good one that we do is uh, meditation hacks. So, oh, yeah. jump, so dropping into deep meditation really fast. So you get the benefit. I mean, meditation is an absolutely wonderful thing to find that stillness within is, is, is a really great practice to be doing daily. It's just quite time consuming. So if you can get the benefits of meditation and really the benefits of meditation and just drop into that stillness quickly, mm -hmm. then it just means you free up a little bit more time. Obviously, meditation has different elements to it. But if you're doing it for the calmness and for the connection, yeah. Um, then, yeah, so meditation hacks is useful. There's one which is evil eye removal as well, which is super helpful. There's a whole thing. So if anyone's interested, please DM me and uh, with your email address and I'll send yes. you the details of the course and then you can that's find out. Great. And of course, you know, anyone that's just tuned in, I will definitely be posting um, a little bit more about your courses. How many courses do you have? What, what are the uh, four. Four. They're all weekends and, and I'm doing them over Zoom at the moment. I do them in person as well. But Zoom, like, look at my page. Zoom works absolutely perfectly. There are videos from there, testimonials from people. Absolutely perfectly. Just sit there and it, I just awaken these gifts within you. It's super duper easy. Uh, yeah, but four to get to the level I am. After four, I'm going to be prom promoting my students because at some point I'm not going to be able to have space for one-to-one. -one and I, I want to make sure I'm building a tribe, a community of people who will uh, take the overflow because I'm doing a lot of work. Because this, this work is just... I think it's going to change the world and I, I just want people to feel better and happier. Yeah. And so I, I, I'm really incentivized. That's why I've also made it affordable because I, I think there's a lot of people, especially millennials who are really disenfranchised. They don't like the way things are done. They want something fast, effective, easy, fun, yeah. joyful, rewarding. They can do it from the comfort of their homes. They don't have to go to an office, which I think people are finding like, why the heck would I go to an office now? I think that's a big thing that's going through. Yeah, for sure. So, and often they don't have career, a career path. So I, I find it, I'm getting quite a lot of uh, Instagram people and uh, influence and those sorts of people who want to be doing this as well, because you can earn good money and it's super easy and it's super impactful and it's really good for your soul. Yeah, so. that's, that's <laughs> very good for your soul. And I feel like, I feel like once you have that down, once you actually find that little piece of you that you can you can awaken like that, you can you can focus on everything else. You know, you understand yourself and you're so in touch with yourself that every everything else that comes back to you you can just deal with and it's just a different mm -hmm. level of like understanding just come. i don't have a, a chatty head now so there's none of that back chatter all those reverse cheerleaders yeah. saying all sorts of tosh they don't live in my head anymore and that's what happens as you progress up you live in, you start to live in walking meditation which is what a buddhist term but you that monkey brain just goes out the window and you don't have those blooming things saying you're too fat you're too ugly you're too poor you're too blah 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 whatever the heck it is for you mm -hmm. i don't have that and i can yeah. teach people people how to dissolve that that anxiety you know it's it's it plagues us like and it's so we're we're always keeping up with the kardashians and all the rest of it and that's just such a especially the younger people who've grown up with social media like mm -hmm. it's life through that and i and i and i i'm glad i'm a little bit older because that is it's just such a pressure at least i you know did all my mistakes well, many of them, I hope. Yeah, <laughs> when I, know. I was younger, before people were photographing me being a hooligan. <laughs> and I think it's also it's also that pressure of the anxiety of like trying to compare yourself and always trying to progress. And it, there's like this pressure of always trying to do something, yeah, always yeah. feeling the need to always uh, like keep going. And one of the things that I found myself being uh, guilty of is procrastinating and just not doing it, you know, and just being just setting your goals and just marching through them and doing them instead of sitting there and thinking, Oh, what if, what if I don't do this? And what if I don't accomplish that? What will happen then? And it's all that back. And forth. <laughs> oh, it's a fight sometimes. It's a fight. And especially with what's going on now in the world. Tiger, the tiger never yeah. comes, the tiger never goes. That's yeah. the bloody problem. We need to just be aware of that. Yeah. And all that pressure and that will stuff up your immune system. So just please drop that stuff at the door. Let yeah. yourself sleep without all that going, that monkey brain going around your head and telling you all sorts of rubbish. We just had an update from Amanda. So she had an intense CBD therapy and ended up hating it because she felt like she put herself through hell and back and never got rid of the panicking feeling. Oh, no. I can't believe that you've just lifted that pain. So That's yay! Cool. Hey, it's done. I'm so glad that you tuned in and I'm so glad that she got to resolve that for you. It's yeah. So that's wonderful, isn't it? So yeah. 
CBD, I mean, look, there are wonderful, wonderful therapies. I just think this is one of the simplest and the least traumatic because you just have to connect it once. You don't have to relive it, retell it. You know, I don't need details about people's lives. You know, it, it does, you don't have to go into the horrible things that have happened to you. I just need to know the title of it and that you need to connect to it. I don't need to know the nitty gritties of it because sometimes reliving it can actually tra re-traumatize you. So I think it's really important, especially with victims of, you know, I don't know, sexual abuse or, or, or physical violence in those ways or whatever it might be, reliving it can really be damaging to you. So to be able to, as long as they can connect to it, open that Pandora's box of emotion just a little bit, I can normally clear it. So, and it's just such a wonderful, beautiful gift. And I just think we can really help a lot of people. I yeah. think that some therapies, you know, it's, yeah, it's just another way of doing things. And I think there's a lot of people who have got a lot of trauma. And yeah. I just think it's time to move forward and also clear people's karma mm -hmm. and just make them feel more connected and more like themselves and more like, and more happy. The, the less trauma you have, the happier you are. And that's very that's right. clear. If you look at kids and kids who've had difficult upbringings, maybe they're carers for their parents in some, some way, they become very serious, very serious at a really young age. And that's really interesting because um, other kids are a lot more carefree. So the more trauma that we have and the more difficult things we see, the more serious we become, the less free we become, the less open. And then you start to attract more and more rubbish towards us. So when you start to audit your life, and that's what I tell my students, is to start with the bigger erasers and then with this energy, to start to audit their lives, go through all the different traumas that they've had and just clear them. And then they just become the happiest version of themselves, which is just, honestly, it's just it's so nourishing. Way. Yeah, the best way to live your life, it is. And you grow so much more when when you feel like that. And it's crazy how maybe you've spent three, four years feeling stuck and feeling, you know, completely just suppressed by everything that, that's happening around you. And suddenly you can find this piece of you and it just awakens. And then, you know, what you could have accomplished in three years, you've accomplished in, in a couple yeah. of months. <laughs> Yeah, Three no, minutes, girl. <laughs> yes, no, I, lo I absolutely love that. And, you know, I, I've been through it and, it, and it's, yeah, it is life changing completely, absolutely, completely life changing. So, um, but so tell, uh, tell them a, a, bit, a little bit more about just so we can like close off a little bit. Um, your classes are weekends. Yes. So and yeah, we're... your next class is next week. And the 10th of right. May, and then the 13th and the 1st, 14th of June, it's going to be done over Zoom, so I can have like a huge it's amount just of one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. So, what? Sorry? It's, it's a one-on-one -on -one Zoom, Zoom call. No, 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 there'll be multiple people on it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, of course. So there's going to be like, I don't know, at least 10 at the moment. So there'll be a lot, yeah, of course. It'll be a, a Zoom class with lots of different people, of course. Yeah, that's what we're going to do rather than individual classes. That's, uh, yeah, it's, it's better to be working with a group as well because you learn from each other, which is really, really fun. And, when, and you start to clear traumas on other people as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's that's really useful. These meditation hacks. If you want to know anything more about it, DM me and I will send you the information. But if you just want to have a healing from you, that's when I do one to one work. So if someone wants to, uh, yeah, just has has got some traumas. Maybe they whatever's happened to them. They want me to be doing that personally. I'm, I'm also available for one to one work. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, yeah. So just we can just schedule you want to get that done as well, or classes, whatever people want to do, whether they want to learn or whether yeah. I'm available. Let's do it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the most important thing. And in case you haven't, um, you know, who, whoever just tuned in now, um, in case you haven't read Antonia's um, article on our website, I'll make sure to include another, another snap or just go on our website and just have, um, have a read through because it honestly, it, it had, it just enlightens you and it opens up so much more <laughs> into your mind. Um, so it, it is beautifully written. Oh, thank you. I try. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So it was really lovely to have you on here. And I hope that we can maybe do this soon and potentially maybe have like a full hour and we can try to get more people tuned in and, and try to yeah. heal as much as possible. I'm up for that, honey. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. All right. Well, it was lovely to see you. And thank you for everybody that tuned in. Um, thank you. And I'm glad we could at least have one today. Are you going to save this on your uh, your feed so people can watch it later? Yeah, definitely, awesome. definitely. So make sure you in case you, in case you tune in now and you've missed it, it's all saved. <laughs> cool.
Thank you so much for interviewing me. Thank I had a lovely time. You and too. thank you, Manda. I'm so glad you're feeling very positive. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling, yeah, I'm really glad. So, uh, Manda, do, do PM, uh, PM me and we can talk about everything as well. And thank you, everyone, for joining. I've had a lovely time. <laughs> lovely. Bye. Bye.